Now we go to the optic neuro neuropathy and optic pruritus. Any condition that affects the optic nerve is optic neuropathy. Most common cause of optic neuropathy or neuritis is ION, ischemic optic neuropathy. And causes of the optic neuritis are infections, bacterial, Lyme disease, syphilis, and cat scratch fever. Viruses, mumps, measles, herpes, cytomegalovirus. And then we have immune disorders, multiple sclerosis, vascular causes, ischemic optic neuropathy, tumors, vitamin B12 deficiency, pernicious anemia is a common cause of vitamin B12 deficiency, also gastrectomy causes it, low serum protein, protein deficiency, radiotherapy, genetic liver atrophy, and they occur neuroretinitis, uh, they describe macula. So that's in the optic neuropathy here, we already discussed. Then optic neuritis types, typical and atypical. Typical optic neuritis is painful and unilateral. Atypical optic neuritis is painless and bilateral. Typical causes mild disc edema without exudates and hemorrhages. While atypical causes severe exudates with or without hemorrhages. The typical one improves after three months and the atypical one continues worsening over the month and steroid withdrawal there is no relapse of the typical optic neuritis, but relapse occur after steroid withdrawal with atypical optic neuritis. Then let's discuss the multiple sclerosis. That is a cause of optic neuritis. It may be unilateral, but may also be bilateral, but usually it's unilateral with central scotoma. So this is due to multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disorder with T cell activation followed by B cell activation that produce antibodies that attack the white matter, the myelin sheet. So the attacks are waxing and waning. They attack the different parts at different times. So healing also occurs and healing occurs. What causes the healing? It's the oligodendrocyte that causes the healing. The patient complains of pain with eye movement and the neuritis is retrobulbar. It's said that EB virus also may trigger the multiple sclerosis. Epstein-Barr virus may trigger oligodendrocytes produce myelin. Damage repairing cells and about 25 to 30% of the patient of multiple sclerosis develop optic neuritis at some time. Then we come to the abnormal pupillary light reflex and in this We'll discuss the Marcus Gunn pupil. So in the Marcus Gunn pupil, which is very important in retrobulbar neuritis, which occur in multiple sclerosis, normally in the normal pupillary light reflex, when the light is thrown here at the pupil, the pupil constrict, and in the other one also constrict, which is known as consensual light reflex. But here, because of the neuritis, when the light is thrown, it causes slow sustained contraction followed by slow dilatation in this eye, affected eye. And what about the other eye? The other eye, consensual light reflex is normal. And then if the light is thrown here in the unaffected eye, its pupil constrict normally. Constriction is normal. And the consensual light reflex in the other side, on the affected side, is also normal because the motor part is by the oculomotor nerve that brings the pupillary light reflex to the affected eye. So in that, optic nerve is not concerned.